Good morning and welcome to another vlog. This is gonna be the vlog that we're doing our wedding taste testing. We have both our wine taste testing this morning and then we have our food taste testing for our wedding. That is in August. So we are in Northern Michigan for kind of, we flew into Traverse City last night. So we're in somewhat Northern Michigan for the weekend, which is near the area that we're having our wedding. So. That's where we'll be this weekend. I figured I would take y'all. Well, actually, just today and tomorrow, we fly back tomorrow. We made it a quick trip because it is pretty chilly here. So I am think I'm just going to take it through the weekend. But welcome to another vlog. Like, you know, we could wear something nice. <laughs> Jay's saying I didn't get the first half of it, but I said that I wanted to wear something cute for this. And he goes, I'm just going to wear some active wear. Look at him in his dress pants and his nice Alexander McQueen's. And I said, you know what? I'll dress up. Yeah. Final fit as we're out the door. I had to literally cut the top of my shirt because my t-shirt was showing up here and I didn't check it out ahead of time. So, okay, Jay's hungry. We're running. We're running. Great. Thank you. Oh, it's so beautiful. I want to go down there. Dude, that's wild. Isn't it stunning? See, and it's, I can't believe that that's a lake. I know. Wow. Looks like an ocean, doesn't it? I want to go down there. More on the money, but we've got lots of others. <laughs> He's like, maybe I will day drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a refill? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet and vanilla. I think it's absolutely delicious as well. I mean, you can't go wrong with either of these. This mm. looks light. Way lighter than the Way other. lighter. Even when you pour it, you can see that it's almost <laughs> <Yeah>. pink. <laughs> it's just so sweet. Yeah. Okay, we can all do it. Cheers this time. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> we just left our wine tasting. They said we were the first one of the, the option. It was the earliest option. I wish we would have done a later one. Yes. Yeah, why not? Why not 1030? Why not 1030 is crazy. And they had a very good red wine. You guys know I love my red wine. What was that one called? Stone something? Stone Mason. And, um, you know, with it being so early in the morning, I felt like an absolute degenerate wanting to drink the whole bottle but it took a lot of um self-discipline to not do that yeah if it was if it was afternoon oh i'd be feeling good right well now. i expected to to drink some too you know yeah I, for this yeah. and it was just like early i'm like uh so I haven't even. You can enjoy a glass. Tonight. I could do that. I could but do you that. Told you to, but I haven't even. Yeah, I need to catch you guys up. So, I was just explaining this, but I have never really been like, oh, I'm just never gonna drink for the rest of my life. Wasn't it when we first started dating? I just was like, I don't drink that much. And now, next thing you know, it's been two years since I've drank, and it just kind of happened that way because I knew I don't love how I feel. But I was like, we've said for months, I do want to drink at our wedding. Um, even if it's some champagne. I like that champagne. Yeah. Wasn't that what it was that I had? Yeah. So have like some champagne at the wedding and I planned on drinking. I literally had like little sips of this wine so it would have never, you would, I'm like not even tipsy at all sober. <laughs> Are you from that amount of no. wine? But um, I'm just saying like I had a little bit of this but it was like barely any wine that we had while we were at our taste testing but I expected to drink at our taste testing, but when they said 10.30 a.m., I'm like, that. the rest of our day is gonna be kind of out of whack if we do that. Definitely. Like we plan on, we have our food taste testing, and then we plan on getting a workout in, so, and just like enjoying Charlevoix. So, um, 
we are headed to the next place, which is where our catering's from, and we're gonna be in Petoskey, which I'm excited for that because I haven't been back to Petoskey since I was younger, so I don't even really remember anything about it. And obviously, you have not been to Petoskey, so I'm excited. We're headed into Meyer. Whoosh! Good old Meyer just reminds me of Michigan. Secure the sweet Lorenz. It's gonna cure my sweet treat. Sweet tooth. Good morning, y'all. Obviously, I'm still in the same hoodie because I am just, this is my comfort hoodie. I keep putting it back on over all my outfits. Also, I didn't really pack accordingly. Like I brought two sweatshirts, but I think I'm gonna wear this one to travel home today too. But I'm gonna wear it to go to the gym. Here's my little gym outfit. I have my mini flares on in navy, and then I have on, I believe this is like the license, maybe license to train tank, favorite tank top from Lululemon for sure. And I am just gonna go get a little full body workout in today. And then we're gonna grab some breakfast and then we are flying home, quick trip.
about to head to the airport, but we are stopping at the same place we had yesterday. I think it's Cafe Neria, maybe that's how you say it, but they have some gluten-free options. So we had that yesterday and we're gonna have it again because it's kind of a quick option. And then we are headed back to Tampa. It is so cold here that I am, I'm ready for some Florida weather. Hey, welcome back. Hey. Hi. I need these jumbo straws. <laughs> Fresh, refreshing. Oh, mine's good too. We should try that. My smoothie. I got my everything but the bagel seasoning on here. Mmm, yum. I did honey and everything but the bagel seasoning this time. Just grabbed our bags. We made it back to Tampa. Finally home, got back, and we immediately got Blaze Pizza. Clearly phone, camera did not eat first, so I got my pizza, I have one piece left, and Jay's got some basketball on the TV, and I'm doing a little reset currently. I have already unpacked everything. I'm just running some laundry, putting away my packing cubes, and it feels so good to be home. Good morning, you guys. I'm still in my pajamas, but I wanted to show you guys the progress we have going on out here with our landscaping. I'm so excited. So I told you guys that we were doing two big planters with trees in them. So we have the two trees right here, and then we're doing, I believe it's 12 of these smaller plants around. And I love these. I think that this is gonna look so good. It already is starting to look so good, but the trees are just freaking fabulous. I think they look amazing and they're exactly what we wanted. And then these rocks over here will obviously have the same rocks come all the way down. We were thinking that we were just going to do like a little walkway path through here and just kind of carry this out and have these exact same ones go through and do a walkway back to our back fence because the pool equipment's back there. But honestly, like it's not that big of a deal to have to walk on the rocks and I don't think like we have to go back there that often. So I don't think that we're gonna do that just cause I think it's gonna look best and be the easiest project to just to rock all the way through here. And then we ordered two planners. I forget exactly where we ordered them from. Maybe it's called like rejuvenation or something online. I'll show you guys when they come, but they're supposed to be here on Monday. It was either a rejuvenation or we did it from ePlanters. We were looking at some from each, but they're supposed to be here, I believe tomorrow or Tuesday. So that's gonna look pretty dang good, y'all. I am so excited about it. I almost think that we just need to get rid of this one because it just annoys me or we need a spot. Once this is all done, we need a spot where we can put like pool toys and pool things in it. Um, and I also feel like that already needs to be pumped back up, the fun boy one. So a good thing we bought a pump because we're probably gonna have to pump that all the time. I'm thinking maybe we have a pool day today at some point, like have a little bit of a pool day, but it's supposed to be so gloomy all day. So who knows? Headed to go do a little grocery shopping. We did church online today and I'm wearing my little Lululemon athletic dress and just threw my hair in a little ponytail and we're gonna head to Whole Foods. Just got back from Whole Foods, did a full on grocery haul. So figured we'll do a little haul. We got some avocados, we got three of these. You want these ones to go straight in the fridge since they're pretty much, uh, yeah, right? That's gonna work. Got some Siggy's yogurt. I did cinnamon and vanilla and peach. I did two of each. I got two cucumbers. I plan on doing kind of like a chicken, tzatziki, cucumber, spring mix type vibe here soon. Blueberries. Organic 
clear spring blueberries. Here's the tzatziki I was telling you about, the Kite Hill tzatziki. And also got this spinach artichoke. It's dairy free. I'm so excited to try this. It's dairy free and gluten free, obviously, but um, Kite Hill has so many good different dips and cream cheeses and stuff. And I've never tried the spinach and artichoke, but Jay got a spinach and artichoke dip while we were in Charlevoix. And I literally used to live for spinach and artichoke dip from Applebee's because we would go get half off apps and that was always my go-to. And I'm like, oh, I miss that so much. So I want to try and find, I'll probably just do like tortilla chips with it or something or some crackers, but like a good pita with that, if I can find some gluten-free pita. I got some mild salsa. I got some strawberries. I accidentally crushed my crackers. These are garlic and herb crackers from Simple Mills. Got organic ground beef, and this is the 93.7. Two things of ground turkey. This is actually gonna be Jay's. So my two proteins for the week are ground beef and chicken. I got some chicken tenders. Organic breast, chicken breast tenders. Also got some eggs. Speaking of eggs, I also got the hard boiled eggs. I know it's not that hard to do your own hard boiled eggs and I plan on doing that next week, but just to have something easy as we just got back in town, I got two bags of the hard boiled eggs pre-made. Some people get the ick about bagged hard boiled eggs. They're easy as heck. Got some oat milk and also got some vanilla almond milk. I'm just putting this all away as I go because sometimes I'll do a grocery haul and I just have like my entire kitchen covered in groceries. So this is a little less daunting. Got some trimmed green beans, baby arugula, and then spring mix. Why does this look like it's, oh gosh, that scared me. Some granola to have with the yogurt. This is the quinoa cacao granola from Farmers We Know two jasmine rice, and this actually has, I will just do one cup of it, so this has um, almost two servings of that. So basically four servings of jasmine rice. Some little tomatoes to do with that tiki bowl. These are Jay's Better Bagels, because these ones are just the classic ones. Um, I feel like I've gone through almost all of my groceries. I have the batter bagels I was just telling you are Jay's, and then I also have Japanese sweet potatoes. Okay, I'm gonna put all my groceries away, and then I think I might either go on a walk or go by the pool. I haven't decided yet, but it is getting nice out, and I'm seeing some sunshine, and it was supposed to be gloomy all day. Oh, I also just got this in. It's a little egg organizer, so I'm gonna put all of my eggs in here. I love the fridge organizers, I really do. Ta da! Stunning. My fridge definitely needs some organization, but that is not a project for today. Maybe tomorrow or Tuesday. <laughs> Hard boiled eggs with some everything but the bagel seasoning. Such a good little combo for a snack. I changed into an outfit. I'll probably go on a walk here in a few, but I've just been doing stuff like getting packages open, breaking down some boxes, doing stuff around the house. I'm wearing this cutie little pink Lulu outfit. Okay, this is a win. I am so impressed with this. Win, 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 win. Look at Jay's snack. Where'd you get that idea from? Hmm? <laughs> Heading out to meet my dad and Ty at the park. I'm gonna ride my bike there and we're gonna hang out for a little bit. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> you wanna hold my hand? Oh, I love when you hold my hand, sweetie pie. What do we got back here, huh? 
Let's go back and get Papa. Okay, that was so much fun. I have been with my dad and Ty, and then we came back here, hung out with Jay a little bit around the pool with Ty. Oh, I just love being an aunt. Being an aunt is one of the best things that's ever happened to me. And my sister and brother-in-law, I've already said this once before, maybe in my last vlog, but my sister and brother-in-law have been away at my sister's brother-in-law, so my brother-in-law's brother. Hopefully you're following his wedding and so they've been out of town and my dad was watching Ty the entire time and I helped him a couple nights obviously getting together. I just love spending time with him so it's just so much fun to see him. He's growing so quickly so we hung out by the park for a little bit, here a little bit and I'm gonna end off this vlog now. I hope you guys enjoyed my little weekend in my life. Lots done with wedding planning and such. I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of the more Northern Michigan. It's just so stunning there. Wish it was a little bit warmer. So next time we're there, we'll, I think it will be the wedding. So that's pretty wild to think about. Destination wedding definitely is giving me a run for my money. I uh, don't know if it would be a lot easier if it were in a local, but I have a feeling it probably would be. <laughs> it's a lot having to go there just for little vendors and stuff, but I wouldn't change it because I know it's gonna be perfect and I can't wait. So thanks for following along and I will see you guys in my next vlog. I love y'all so much. Bye guys.